question. Here we go! Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. Please, please be sealed. Please be sealed. Oh! Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Stormtrail, and in today's video, we are going to be building a base for survival mode. Now, guys, we recently just hit 200 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. That means a lot to me. And I didn't realize we would get here so fast, but here we are. Let's go ahead and start getting on with this video. Alright, so, to build a base, I've come to the large oil rig, and here I'm going to be building a quite big base. Now, considering this is survival mode that we are going to be building for, we need to consider the cost of the base with the base itself. So I can get a good idea of how long this is going to take to achieve... To get actual to get it actually in game now whenever building a, a, a custom base on this type of a rig you have to find the actual point where you can match up with this platform here now my goals for this base is to have a humongous base here almost like the regular oil rig and have a helipad on one corner and then I want to have a, a boat docking area right down here where I can store some of my boats if I can extend the range out to that. Alright, so here in the workbench, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the optimal point in which we can lay the ground for our actual base. Now, I've already done some pre-testing, and I believe we want to go down approximately 9 blocks. Let's see if that's good. 8 blocks. Okay, let's go 1 down, 1 more. Now, let's go ahead and create a platform here. Okay, just like that. Make it a little bit bigger. Now, if we spawn it in, it should be just above this point right here. And it looks like it is, so that is perfect. All right, okay. That's exactly what I wanted. So, now we need to extend out this to the uh, actual base end itself. Which I believe this actually goes a little bit past, so we're going to put it there and see if it's good. Okay, so yeah, we, as we, you can see, it goes past. Now, I think this actually might be good, but I need to figure out how wide, how much wider I can take it in order to make it perfect. So let's go ahead and go back into the edit structure here. And since I want it to be a little bit wider, let's go ahead and take it out uh, about 35 to 40 blocks. So let's take it out 40 blocks here. There we go. Okay, 40 blocks. And let's go ahead and... Oh, this is laggy. Okay. Place that there. And that should... Oh, that's that's almost perfect. About four more blocks on each side, and I think that's perfect just right there. Because we're going to want to have a ladder leading up to this instead of just this one. But actually, you know what? This one might actually just work. So let's go ahead and extend it by a, another two blocks on both sides alright so this is extended out two blocks on both sides so now we can see that it's much closer here and there's this little step up area which is about four blocks in so let's see if I can't put a door right where we spawn so if I look at this correctly this is where it is so we should be right here let's go ahead and get a door we could do a uh, mod, a uh, an actual custom door. I think I'm going to do that, but for now, I'm just going to go with a simple, simple door just to lay the foundation. Which I don't know if I actually want a door here. Let's see if that makes sense or not. But I may just have it open to where I can just hop up on here and get into here. Unless I want this entire space to be an actual area in which I can go into, but I think that's going to be a little too laggy. So I think we're going to have to drop the door idea and just go with a simple entry to the base. All right, and here we go. This is the base for our base. <laughs> now, what we're going to build is a few different compartments. I want a radio station, and then I want a living compartment, and then I want a just a base watchtower. Now, I may include the radio station. I just may forego the radio station and include that in the base radio tower. And, and I also may just forego the actual room compartment and include everything in this one giant base. 
which would be pretty interesting, but I want to know what you guys think. What should I do? Should I make it one giant base or multiple different little compartments around the base? I'm not 100% sure what I should do, so I guess I'll ask you guys. What should I do here? Should I make it one big base or multiple small bases? For now, I'm going to start off with one pretty big base, and then from there, I can see if you guys want multiple small bases around that or just improve on that big base. And then, I want some to hear some of your ideas. What else should I do other than just have a base on top of this? Hmm. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear it, because... There's many things we could do here, and it could be so cool to have some of your guys' thoughts in this base, and maybe even some of your creations.
All right, there we go. Now, some of you may be wondering, Stor Storm Child, this isn't this isn't what you usually uh, upload on your channel. Yeah, it, it isn't what I usually upload, but you got to do some times you got to do some things different. And this is going to be what we're going to be doing for my survival series for the next few survival episodes is we're going to be building up this amazing base to have something amazing to use in survival. Alright, so now that these windows are all good, let's go ahead and look at the wave direction. I believe it's coming from this direction, and because I don't have any windows facing that direction, except for downstairs, I'm going to go to the custom menu here, and I'm going to change the direction of the wind so that the tsunami will come from this direction. You should be able to see, yep, there it is. So if I didn't, I thought if I would not have changed the wind direction, it would have came from behind me, and this would not have been so. Oh boy, <laughs> look how big that is, man! And we're on the we're on the second floor. I wonder how high I have to go to be able to get above the tsunami, and if this is not sealed, which I really hope it is. I'm going to have to build like an escape hatch or something like that that goes up really high up into the air that allows me to uh, actually build like a tsunami safe area because if I get stuck underneath the water and there is no seal, that's not very good for me. And here we go! Oh boy! Oh no! Okay, please, please be sealed. Please be sealed. Oh! No! Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make sure... No! There's the culprit! Are you kidding me? No way! Oh. No! I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright. This time, I actually checked fully and went over the structure. Up top because I cannot believe I missed that single block which is what often happens to boats I build I miss one block and I'm like wait a minute what how how is how is this happening why is why is it sinking and then I gotta go searching throughout the entire boat just to find out why it's sinking but all right let's go ahead and spawn in another tsunami here oh no oh no that poor NPC boat it is going to get flipped all right, at least you get something to watch. Oh boy. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. I think he's about to go into it. Oh, you got this, buddy. You go. There he goes. He's riding it up. He's riding it up. I wonder if his engines have died. I don't see. Okay, I still see smoke coming out of the engine compartment. He's going to get launched. There he goes. And he's over. Oh, wow. That. And, oh, I can see him through it. Oh, I think he landed. I think he's fine. I think he's perfectly fine. Awesome. All right. Well, let's see if we're going to be perfectly fine. Here we go. Here it is. Yes. Yes, it's sealed. Yes. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, that looks weird. But yes, it is sealed. Perfect. That is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And as the tsunami falls, we can see that the AI is perfectly fine. Alright, so that's what I wanted to test. And now that I know that it is, it is perfectly sealed, I'm going to add in some lights and a generator. And then we'll go ahead and end the episode off after that. Alright, now I li added a small light in here which is connected to the electric generator. Which should be connected to this battery here, which is why it's powering the light. I'm probably going to have to get the charger so that I can have a, the generator charge the battery, but not the light. So, let's go ahead and see if we can start this thing up here. Full throttle should be getting... Nope. We aren't getting exhaust or anything like that. Hmm. That's strange. Alright, so I went ahead and did a test start, and it does indeed work, so I guess it was the fact that I was trying to pull in air, but I also may have it in the wrong direction, which I'm pretty sure it isn't. I'm pretty sure this is the push out and this is the pull in, but I'm not sure why that is not working, but let's go ahead and start this engine up. 
there we go. And I could probably actually put a much bigger generator on here, the large generator, and it actually worked. Now, we'd probably be running at very low RPS, but that is the point as in to conserve as much fuel as possible. Now, it looks like it's plenty enough just to power just about everything we need. And at this RPS, we are running at a great temperature, so that's awesome to see. All right. Well, I think that is what I needed so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and spawn a tsunami see if it's uh actually oh I can't actually cancel it. it's been going for that long look how far it is out yeah that I think this will work well this this has been a long video and I hope you guys have enjoyed it but oh it just cut out I think we lost gas I think we just burned through that yeah we just burned through that tiny tiny fluid tank all right well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Today's Bible verse is 2 Timothy 2.15. Work hard so that you can present yourself to God and receive His approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly explains the word of truth. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you for helping me get to 200 subscribers. And I'll see you all next time. God bless you.